I'm something of an amateur historian. Um, I've got a degree in history, although I haven't done anything with it. Um, and to me, at least, one of the most uh, fascinating periods in uh, in world history is that of 1930s in uh, the world, uh, in Europe in general, but uh, Asia is actually interesting in the 1930s as well. Um, an interesting, slightly obscure figure in 1930s European history is a fellow by the name of Sir Oswald Mosley. He was the leader of uh, Britain's Union of Fascists, or the British Union of Fascists. Um, he uh, never really got anywhere with his movement. He uh, ended up uh, uh, in jail uh, when uh, Britain and um, Nazi Germany went to war. Um, he began his career as an idealist. Uh, a, he was a highly intelligent man, uh, a laborite socialist, uh, and he ended his career as a fascist. <laughs> um, he, he was a very intelligent fellow, much more uh, intelligent than, say, people like Mussolini or Hitler, uh, but he went nowhere. He uh, became something of a bad joke, an uh, unfortunate memory for the British that they'd just rather forget. Um, and I think that the reasons why he failed in, uh, in uh, his quest to, to turn uh, uh, Britain into a fascist state um, reside more in the strength of Britain's institutions uh, than in uh, Mosley's um, abilities and, uh, and or intelligence uh, itself. Um, the black shirts, the uh, British fascists, never succeeded in breaking into the power structure of Britain uh, in the interwar period. Uh, they um, ran all kinds of demonstrations. They had their own newspapers. Um, they uh, had marches. Um, they got into the headlines an awful lot. They got more than their fair share of uh, press, mostly bad. Uh, but occasionally they, got, uh, they, they snarled the odd sympathetic uh, uh, newspaper editor. Um, but they simply went nowhere. They ended up in the doldrums and they just sort of shriveled into nothing. Um, because, of course, uh, so much of their political energy, so much of their energies in general, were um, devoted to pranks, i.e. marches, embarrassing people, um, whipping up uh, notoriety, uh, this kind of thing. They, 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 they caused a lot of noise, but at the end of the day, they really never amounted to much. They, I'm sure they gave a few people some nightmares, especially Jewish British people. Um, but apart from that, apart from a few big street brawls, they never really accomplished anything. Uh, Anjum Chaudhry, uh, the uh, notorious uh, British Islamist, strikes me as almost the same kind of a person, and his ilk. Um, I'm a Canadian, and, and what goes on in the UK is kind of none of my business, and I only say this as an interested uh, uh, outsider, but Anjum Chaudhry kind of reminds me uh, of uh, Oswald Mosley in some ways, uh, although in a, in a kind of a sick way, it's kind of a compliment to uh, Mr. Chaudhry, because while well, Oswald Mosley was head and shoulders more intelligent than, uh, than Chaudhry is, um, but you do see these people's faces. Uh, there are a lot of high-profile uh, British Islamists uh, who we see quite frequently in the media as far away as Canada. Now, I think that this gives these people um, a sense of their own power, which is out of all proportion to what it is. And I think it gives um, the general public a sense of their menace, which is uh, out of all proportion to what it actually is. What do these people ever do? They um, grab headlines. They engage in pranks, um, nasty pranks, very deeply offensive pranks, but pranks nonetheless. They have no chance of getting into power. I'm su I suppose that they might have some influence in particularly um, disenfranchised uh, immigrant neighborhoods or second-generation immigrant neighborhoods, third-generation even. Um, but as far as their ability to actually break into the uh, the uh, political power structure, I think that their their uh, their chances are pretty much nil. Uh, now this doesn't mean that they can't make a lot of noise, that they can't cause an awful lot of trouble. Um, uh, nor uh, am I suggesting that they're not to be taken seriously. I certainly believe that Oswald Mosley was to be taken seriously, uh, but. Um, 
I, I don't think that one should actually get too worked up over what they're capable of doing. Now, of course, the only thing that I suppose that one could really fear these people for is that they could create young, violent Islamic extremists who could end up in terrorist training camps uh, coming back to cause actual trouble. But as far as actually altering the fundamental nature of European society or British society or whatever, all that they're really doing is, I believe, making life miserable for uh, the mainstream communities on both sides of, of, of whatever Muslim, uh, non-Muslim uh, divide there might be in Europe that I've alluded to in my previous video. Uh, I wonder what the average British Muslim must think of people like Anjum Choudhury and his like. Uh, they, they probably, their skin probably crawls whenever this fellow opens his mouth because, um, well, here in Canada you say the word British Muslim. And unfortunately, well, the extremist uh, leaps to mind. It's, it's very unfortunate. And um, I don't believe that that actually is representative of the Islamic community in general. Um, any more than Sir Oswald Mosley was, uh, any, uh, was a representative of the soft right uh, in Britain uh, in general, although it um, gave uh, plenty of people a convenient reason to call conservatives, Tories, fascists. So, I think that, um, that these people, and I think that I'm not saying anything that anyone hasn't already concluded themselves, they're going to be around for a while, they're going to be making an awful lot of noise, but, like Sir Oswald, um, the, the institutions uh, in Britain, and as we have seen uh, even recently with, um, with uh, Islam for You, or for, uh, sorry, Islam for UK, uh, very small but firm measures uh, seem to be uh, taking their toll on these groups. And slowly but surely, uh, I think that their uh, their influence and their their um, ability to do anything other than uh, engage in pranksterism uh, will be clawed back. Um, I'm not saying that the pressure on them should ever be alleviated for a second. No, but I do believe that uh, that uh, the institutions of democracy are strong enough to deal with these kinds of people. Thank you.